for a second consecutive year now, Namibia is invaded by the crop ravaging pests fall armyworm. The caterpillars have largely been detected in the northern part of the country, affecting mostly the maize producing farms of the Green Scheme projects. I could really attest that uh, uh, the worms are, are there, and probably to say that uh, it appears that they are there to stay, unless we do some uh, um, intensified interventions. The worms' prevalence at the government's run section has slightly reduced, while the part owned by the small-scale farmers is highly invaded by the pests. This is because no maize, which is the main host of the worms, was planted at the commercial side of the farm, while small-scale farmers continued to plant a variety of crops which attracted the fall armyworm. Government has this time planted other rotational crops, especially groundnuts, to fend off the insects. We have come to the conclusion that uh, a directive has to be issued going into the next season to just really uh, suspend the production of maize entirely for one season or so in order to make a significant impact on the, on the life cycle of the worms. Spraying chemicals has played a major role in fighting pests at the commercial site of the Etunda. The only option that we think will be the, the best is to actually uh, do uh, area spraying with, with helicopter uh, for the whole farm because it doesn't it, it has proved that it doesn't help to only um, spray the commercial and you do not spray the small scale farmers, the, the medium scale farmers, and also the surrounding bushes. Because the worms also invaded the Uvungu Vungu, Skondo, Dongalinena, and Chitemog agricultural projects in Kavango West and East regions. Jeff Tashihumino, NBC News, Venduk.